Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So this is one of the most frequently asked question. Ma'am, we want to learn DSA, which language we should choose? C++ or Java or Python? Because Python is also nowadays in trending language. See, first of all, the question is not a valid question actually. What is DSA? DSA is all about problem solving, right? In the tech interviews of those top tech companies, they want to check your problem solving skills. How do you approach a problem? How do you break down that problem? How do you optimize your solution? Right? That is why, you know, the most of the questions revolve around DSA. Right? In those top tech companies, if you want to go like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and these. Right? Now, it's not just about coding or it's not just about you know, doing writing program in just one language, C++ or Java. It's about problem solving skills. They just want to check your problem solving skill. You write down code in C++, Java or Python. If your code is good, it's optimized. You are able to think, you are able to approach that problem properly in optimized manner. You are good to, right? Even you can learn the DSA concept in pseudocode. You don't need to write a proper code in any language if you want to understand the concept and all but yeah if you want to yeah definitely you are going to implement those concept then you need a language definitely C, C++, Java or Python right and the most commonly used languages are like C++, Java and Python so you are confused most of the students confused about which language to choose C++, Java or Python right so one thing let me clear one thing first it doesn't matter Mainly if I compare C++ and Java, then both the languages are great programming language for learning and implementing DSA concept. It doesn't matter a lot, right? You can go either for C++ or Java, doesn't matter. But still, if you want to choose one language, then you need to consider some factors, right? Like if you want to choose between two bikes, right? Yeah, almost similar bikes are there all bikes are good but if you want to choose then there are many factors based on that you compare those vehicles those bikes or cars and all and then you according to your preferences your goals according to your condition your financial condition you choose that product or that one bike or that car and all right so same with this there are many factors while choosing c plus plus and java first thing See, if you are comfortable or if you are familiar with any one language, like you have done C and C++ in just in your 11th and 12th, so you just continue with C++. Don't just skip, I mean, don't just jump to a new language just to go for DSA concept. Continue with that language, learn DSA and all. See, if you are very good in one language, you have proper knowledge of one language, it's, it's you know, it's very easy for you to switch to another language. Don't worry. It's okay. And when you are going to industry, maybe you have given, <clears throat> sometimes this happens, maybe you have given your interview in C++, you got selected and in after you go to that company, you will be working on a project which is in Java. Then you need to learn Java there, right? So it doesn't, you know, matter actually, right? Because after going to that industry, over the time period, you need to learn other languages as well. It's not like that you just learn one language and that's it. Right, you are set. No. Right? If you are familiar with C or comfortable with C, just learn DSA with C. If you are comfortable with Java, go for Java. If you are comfortable and you know both C and Java very well, then I would I would recommend go for Java. Why Java? I'll tell you. See later. But before that, I just want to remind you, if you want to learn DSA with Java, then, uh, then I am going to start a course mastering data structure and algorithm with Java from 19th of September. So the early bird offer is still going on, extra 10% discount for first 500 student. In this course, I will be covering complete Java language first, then complete DSA. It's for extreme beginner to advanced level. So if you have no prior coding experience, you don't know any language, it's okay, I'll teach you everything. We'll first, I'll teach you first Java and then we'll go for DSA, right? With some projects, case studies, assignments, quizzes and much more. And doubt resolution support as well during the course, right? So classes will be started from 19th of September. The link you will get in the descri description box as well as in the pinned comment. You just go and check out that course.
one factor is this right second factor is the purpose why you want to go for dsa concept see if you want to learn dsa concept in the context of cp you are going competitive programming definitely you go for c++ why so because it is faster and then in cp when you are solving problems when you are going for those contest online contest the speed matters execution time because they have mentioned like they generally mention one or two second and sometimes if you write the same code in other language python or java then the error comes like time limit exceeded even though you have written the same logic but still because java is sorry c++ is the fastest one python is the slowest java is in between these two right it's not like that you cannot do cp in python or java many do many prefer python or java for cp but preferred language for cp is c++ because of its faster execution right it's but and the you know that that um, concept or that syntax is also short like if you want to print something just write c out in java you have to write system dot out dot print ln and there you write whatever you want to print and here we simply write c out that's it so sometimes because of this shorter syntax also they prefer c++ right now see now if you want to go in that industry like if you want to develop operating systems compilers uh, system software drivers they need low level memory management right then go for c++ their c++ is used still used right and in some you know hft is also like they hft means high frequency frequency trading they are the firms right now you know nowadays they offer on almost 1 crore or 2 crore 4 crore package to iitns hfts it's way more than the the, the offer you know of product based companies right because in hfts developer you know write down complex algorithm but there the speed the execution time latency that matters a lot and because c++ is faster that is why hfts use c++ language to write algorithms that is why they prefer the one who is good in c++ right so in hft is basically you know using that algorithm they analyze the market data right they buy and you know sell the stock and all and they do you know a large number of transactions in seconds and within that second they can earn crores and even they can lose crores so that is why there the speed matter the speed of the algorithm because everything the analysis of the data selling and buying and all this thing is done automatically and they write algorithm for that right so that is why the speed of algorithm the execution time the latency matter here and load that is why c++ is used right so basically if you want to go in cp system programming and hfts or those you know high if you want to do in those industries where the, the, the high performance you know intensive tasks are required then go for c++ otherwise if you want to learn or you want to go in in a professional way in that industry simply you want a job and that's it if your goal is not specific to these things right what c++ required then go for java because it is widely used in the industry even in those enterprise level right even you know those servers in servers and web servers cloud and infrastructures and many big tech companies google meta amazon they use java for their code base they have a large code base for their servers their server runs on java right so java is widely used in the industry third factor comes resources so both c++ and java there are many resources if you want to go for dsa with c++ or dsa with java there would be many paid resources there would be many free resources also so in this case both are same right fourth thing level of difficulty for a beginner purpose yeah c++ is a little bit hard to learn because of there are many concept like pointers memory management you have to do memory management yourself you will manage you will allocate memory you will free memory right so basically we are the you know we are allocating the memory and deallocating memory and also memory leaks are there in java there is automatic garbage collector you don't need to you know worry about the memory management and all there is no pointers so it is little bit easy to learn language right but 
I know many students ask this question C++ versus Java in the context of job. Which language is going to pay you higher? Which language is having more jobs? Right. So definitely more jobs, Java language. That is for sure. But high paying, we cannot say simply C++ or Java. Because I have given you an example, HFTs are using C++ and they are paying even crores. Right. And even there are so many Java developers who are, you know, uh, earning more than C++ developers. There are many C++ developers who are earning more than Java developers. So in case of like, which language is going to pay you more, we can't say directly. Right. But yeah, in terms of jobs available in the market, in the terms of job demand, Java is one of the most preferred language. There are so many job openings in Java. And for placement point of view, you can choose either language, C++ or Java. Because they see, because, see, if you are aiming those top tech companies, they will see your problem solving skill. They will ask DSA. It doesn't matter, you are going to solve that problem in C++, Java or Python, basically. Many students prefer C++ because of the speed I have told you and as well as the shorter syntax, right? Because at that point of time when you are solving the problem, you know, problem either that matters a lot, the time limit and all that matters a lot. So rather than writing these, this line, I'll prefer to write only C out. So they prefer C++, that's why, right? But it doesn't make a difference much. And if you are applying for specific roles like Java backend developer, so obviously you learn Java, C++ developer, obviously you will learn C++, right? So there is no question C++ versus Java in that case if you are applying for specific roles. And Java, why Java is almost, in, you know, widely used in industry because we can do everything in Java. Website development, you can do development, you can do backend thing also, you can do Android app development, I mean you can develop apps also, right? web servers, so many things we can do in Java. That is why it is widely used in industries and there are many jobs in Java rather than, you know, in C++. So the summary is C++ is in demand in specialized field like system programming, game development, high performance computing, competitive programming, right? And Java is in high demand across multiple industries, especially in enterprise software development, web development, Android app development. So it is one of the top language in terms of job demands. So if you want to go for DSA with Java, right, you can enroll in a course in my course that is mastering DSA with Java. Then I'll teach complete Java first, then go for DSA. Plus we'll be discussing some projects, case studies, quiz, assignment and much more, right. So the early bird offer is still going on, which is extra 10% discount for first 500 students. The enrollment link you will get in the description box of this video. You can check out. I hope this video clarified your doubt C++ versus Java. So now I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.